John and I are carrying on through because Beeston Ironlock is literally just around the corner. And of course, you know, Beeston Ironlock, we can only get one boat in at a time. So Angie's just going to walk down. We are going to try and close these gates, but they're staying open all the time. Mm. No more locks for us today. Uh, John and Ange have got one more and we'll probably walk down and uh, help with that one. But uh, yeah, Chas Harden's all their, all their boats are there by the looks of it, all the higher boats, which is unusual. I thought they'd have been out by now. It's been a nice cruise. And the first glimpse of Beeston Castle still takes my breath away. Nearly at our moorings now, won't be long. I'll try and tie up as fast as I can and then go and help uh, John and Angie with Wharton's Lock. I'm ready for a brew. Well, that's us all moored up. Oh, let's go and help John and Ange. It has been an enjoyable little trip, but I'm looking forward to getting my boots off. And I think I'll have a nice hot cup of Oxo. Love it. What are you doing all the way over there? Come on, Chip. Come on. <laughs> So moored up again at Beeston Castle. Uh, as I say, John and Ange, we've locked them through. Nikki's happy. Happy? Yeah. Uh -huh. Very happy. Very happy. Yes, we're happy bunnies today. I don't know why, we're just happy bunnies. But we've got the castle. Uh, going to move down. Oh, the dogs are having a, a fit. Uh, we're going to move down. Oh, there's goes chips there. Oof. Uh, we're going to move down towards Eggbridge, Waverton, maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. I don't really know, but I've got to be down at Eggbridge for Monday so Amy can pick me up for my hospital appointment. But I think we're going to go in, have a little drink of something. Yeah. Should we raise a glass? We should do, yeah. Yes. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. ta -ra. Primrose, what are you doing with that stick? Oi! Primrose. I'm trying to find a piece that's tasty. Oh dear. Miss Daly Whaley. Hey, what? What? Dale. Oh! What? Oh! Having a sneezing fit. And there's the chips, the whipster. You've had a run, haven't you, Chip? You did? You went on a run? Yeah? You good boys, aren't you? Hello. Hello. What's she doing? 
What you doing? What you doing? Ooh, ooh. Chip, go on. I'm gonna get you. Wow, it's the most beautiful of mornings. It's Saturday the 5th of March and we're moving. We're hopefully getting down to Eggbridge. Um, and I've been talking to Paul Partridge off Baked On Board. Um, hopefully I can put a link below to his Facebook page. He's a trader and he does, trust me, the best pizzas you've ever tasted. But he doesn't put pineapple on them and I like pineapple. But we woke up to a lovely, sunny, peaceful morning here. The sun's shining. It's cold, it's very, very cold, but there's no wind whatsoever. There isn't a ripple in the water. It's absolutely stunning, absolutely. So I'm looking forward to a really nice but fresh cruise that, uh, this morning. Um, obviously the kids are off school today, so I think uh, that the, uh, the little girl, Lily, is coming to help mum with the lock. And perhaps the little man will be on the back deck with me. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but yes, a lovely night again at our castle. I love it here, Beeston Castle. Lovely and peaceful. Right, let's get the engine going and let's get cranking it. And off we go. Such a beautiful day. Yes, this boat just up here turned up last night. We let the dogs out for the, the late night loo and we noticed that boat there. But we never heard it more up or anything. Stealth boat. And brilliant. The lock isn't set. Nicky and I just stood here looking at uh, Beeston Castle. It's so peaceful here this morning. You can hear the water filling the lock. And the night heater on that boat that's moored up. But apart from that, it's just beautiful morning. Tip me in. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Huh? Here, of course, is the good old Shady Oak. Cracking little pub. And here's boating David outside the Shady. It's unusual to see him near a pub. Well, you know, you're recommending it so much, I thought I'd try it myself. <laughs> How are you doing, David? Yeah, I've been two years since I've been down here. Has it? Yeah. Come last year, they've ripped the gate off the Bunbury. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this bridge, believe it or not, is called Dale's Bridge. If you know of a Chips Bridge, please let me know. He's feeling left out, bless him. I tell you what, that wind's getting up. And the good thing about Nikki staying on board at the moment, a nice cup of coffee. Oh 
morning. Lovely little boat. That's novel. But I would imagine that would ruin the view a little bit. That was a nice surprise. Nikki just brought me out a lovely, nice, hot fish finger sandwich. And it was very nice, thank you. Not long to go now to Eggbridge. Um, I don't know whether to go down past the cat wind and then more up on the way back. I might do that and then that'll save us for the return trip. I don't really know yet. I'll have a think when I get there. Well, we're at Eggbridge in Waverton now, and I can see that there's two boats on the actual mooring. So I will be mooring under the bridge. So I think I'll go and turn, and then at least the centre hatch is on the towpath side, which is handy for Bella, the cat. Uh, and it'll save me when we move, hopefully on Tuesday. Um, I might even move, because I think Paul's moving tomorrow on his pizza boat. So I might move uh, into his spot. Oh ah, well, I think as it's dry, it's a wise decision. It's dry and I'm not too bad. It's a little bit cool, but I'm not too bad. I'm quite enjoying it, really. Yeah, it'll save me when we get going back that way, the way we've been again. Hey, how are you, Paul? I'm very well, buddy. How are you? I'm good, mate. I'm going to go on wind, mate. Oh, good luck. We'll see you in a bit. What time are you opening? Uh, 12 Okay, mate. Good luck. I might... with that. Yeah, good luck with that flaming tree branch in the wind, you know. Oh, no. The tree with the overhanging branch will work. Here we are now in the lovely little town or village of Crystleton. And if you watch Narrowboat Will, you'll know that these aren't houses. These are called houses. Yes, houses. Lots of lovely houses here. 